Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the different types of galleries you can have uh, on your Show It site and um, how those look and um, just kind of how they work within the platform. Um, so the first thing, I just have a blank page here um, just for the sake of the tutorial. The way you're going to want to add a gallery is down here at the bottom this middle one, you're going to have this option here for gallery. Um, then you're going to have a box that pops up. This box is going to be the size that your images are going to fit into. So I'm going to make this nice and large just so it shows up nice. And then uh, you have some options for gallery over here. So you can add images here and then you have gallery settings here. So you can see that you have three kinds of um, galleries to choose from, the simple, the tiled, and the sliding gallery. And then you have some um, settings here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some images first, and then I will show you the difference in how they can look. Um, I am going to just upload some recent branding photos that I have just for the sake of this, which I think I am saying a lot in these videos. Let's see. Okay, I am uploading some images here. So I can select one at a time I can click and drag them over, or I'm hitting click here, and then I'm hitting shift, and then clicking down, and that will select multiples. Um, so I'm gonna drag these over. I'm going to delete this duplicate, and we'll work with just these six for the time being. I'm gonna hit save. Okay, you can see here that it is showing up just one big one at a time. This is going to be the simple gallery. This is gonna be a gallery that shows one, minute, one image at a time. Um, it's going to auto advance through, and you can choose that to fade or slide. I'm gonna show you both here. Um, you can also change the difference in um, container fill. And then you have your transition time. So I'm just gonna show you an example of how this looks. So there's our gallery, and it's fading through. So if I wanted to change that, let's show a slide and let's go four seconds just to show the difference. There we go. And we're sliding. So that is the simple gallery. Great for large images. Um, it just kind of depends always uh, what you're kind of going for for your site. Okay, so the next one that we can do is the tiled gallery. And I love the tiled gallery for a large amount of images. Um, it creates this cool tiled effect. You can change the amount of columns. You can um, add some padding in between, which I always like to do. I'm gonna add 10 pixels of padding just to give some nice um, spacing. I might actually even make it 15. Um, and then I'm gonna drag this down just to to fill the rest. Okay, and then your settings are gonna change here, obviously. You can add a border if you'd like. Um, you can see here, I've added a little bit of a border. Um, actually, that border isn't working. Why isn't that showing up? There, it worked. It's on each individual image. So you could do that if you liked. And then this is going to be the full screen view. So that is going to be for when you click into one of these. It's going to bring up kind of a light box situation. So I will show you what that looks like here. So this is what the tiled gallery looks like. And then if you wanted to look at one closer, you would click on it and it's going to show up in a light box view that you can then click through the rest, which is pretty cool. Um, the settings for the background color are for that full screen light box view. So if you wanted it to be a different color, you could change that here. Um, same with the arrows. Um, I will note that you do want to keep in mind that these are going to look a little bit different on mobile. 
Um, I usually like to make it two columns on mobile, and obviously you have to do all of the same um, settings again on mobile as well. Um, the gallery, the simple gallery, the one with just the single image is going to be a little bit easier to, because it's going to be just the one image on mobile as well. All right, so the tile gallery is great for like, say, an exhibition of many photos. If it's a wedding photographer and they have a, they want to showcase a wedding, this is a great way uh, to showcase all of them on one page. Um, I do recommend not doing more than like 30 or 40 images in a gallery because it can really start to mess with your, uh, your site speed time. Um, and obviously you want to make sure that all of your images are optimized per show its guidelines. Um, and I will go over that actually at the end. Um, so the last gallery for the option that you have is the sliding gallery. And this is similar to the first symbol gallery, except depending on the size, you might be able to see um, another picture that's gonna come in a little bit uh, later. Um, you, have, if you have the option to show dots here, um, which is nice, which gives people the option to scroll through. Um, you still have the auto advance and you have the option um, to control this amount of space in between the images as well. And then you have some styling here. So you have the carousel, which shows the next and the previous. You can have the single image fill the space. So you would obviously want to mess around with that to fill it the way that you wanted to, or you have the single image fit. So it's just gonna fit it to that side. So you might have some white space. Um, I'm just gonna show you carousel. Um, for the time being. Um, and you also have some options for dots here as well. You actually have quite a few options there. Um, so this one on the preview looks a little like this. You can see that I can, I'm clicking and scrolling through and you have a nice gallery, sliding gallery here, which is great. So this on mobile, is gonna look a little bit different. We're gonna change this. And then obviously you're not gonna see as much um, of the other images on the side. So you could resize that to however you'd want. And then you could show the dots or not show the dots on mobile as well. And it would function the same way on mobile. So those are the three gallery options and kind of the settings that you can play with in Show It. Um, these are great options to showcase your photography um, and they look really nice. I am gonna show you um, what you should do uh, to your images before you upload them into your gallery. Okay, here I have one of the amazing help guides that Show It has on hand. Um, this is preparing your images for Show It. Um, and this is gonna tell you exactly what you need to do and you can always come back to this as well. So here are the options that you have for optimizing. It says that Show It automatically optimizes your images, but we do have some tips for sizing to make sure we have a high enough quality file. Okay, so they take JPEGs, PNGs, and GIFs, which is great. So basically, if you're uploading a JPEG, you're gonna resize your original image to 3,500 pixels on the long edge. Um, it's gonna make the uploading process go better and um, it is just um, their overall suggestion. Um, I usually set my DPIs to 72. Uh, that's usually the web optimized DPI, um, but it says that it doesn't really matter. Um, and then your, col your color profile should be sRGB, which is great. Um, they have like, they have imaging software that um, will resize things, but um, for the most part, you don't need to do much except make sure that it's not an enormous, huge file. Um, they will optimize it a bit, but those are just some things that you can do to your JPEGs to um, just make it go a little bit easier. Um, I usually only use PNGs and GIFs for when I'm like designing. Obviously, I'm not going to use a PNG uh, if I'm going to upload uh, photographs. So um, this is here if you need it. But other than that, that is what uh, Show It suggests for optimizing JPEGs. 
um, and you can always refer back to this as well. Um, this is on the Show It uh, website and it's preparing images for Show It. And that is all I've got today for galleries. Um, hit subscribe or like down in the corner and I will see you guys next week.